Hi, I'm Ivy Elkins, and I am a lung cancer survivor and advocate, and I am here with Hope With Answers, talking to Dr. Natasha Leo. I, um, Dr. Leo, I would love to talk to you about treatment options for EGFR positive lung cancer today. Thanks so much, Ivy. I'm delighted to be here. Please call me Natasha. So EGFR positive lung cancer was actually a great discovery. We tend to find it more commonly in people who've never smoked or have only smoked a little bit in their history, uh, but it can happen in, in people who do have a stronger smoking history. It tends to be a little more common in Asia or people from East Asia, and tends to be more common in women and in a certain type of lung cancer called adenocarcinoma. Having said that, you know, we do tend to test quite broadly in people's cancers for EGFR mutations, and we also sometimes will even test people with squamous cancer, which we don't routinely test, particularly if they're they're never smokers, and we would never have expected them to get lung cancer. So that's fantastic information, but if someone is diagnosed with EGFR lung cancer, do they need to worry about their children? Could their children inherit this from them? So once you've been diagnosed with cancer, it's such a stressful time. And I think it's so important to reach out to your doctor and your team and to really have a lot of trust in your team. Most lung cancers, we believe, are not uh, what we call hereditary or passed down. Mm -hmm. However, I do think it's important that you ask the question. There are some rare cases of lung cancer around the world, a very specific mutation called T790M, which if you find it at the very beginning at diagnosis, there's a very tiny chance that it might run in the bloodline or what we call the germline. So I think it's a very reasonable question to ask your doctor. I think it's so important to have that conversation because obviously it's so stressful. You've just been told you have lung cancer, you're stressed about what will happen and the possibilities and you need hope. And the last thing you need to worry about is passing this on to your kids. So a very good conversation to have with your doctor. For the most part, no. That's that's a great tip. It really is. Thank you. Now, what is the typical treatment for EGFR lung cancer? So it's been so great that we've been able to really move towards targeted therapies. So EGFR positive lung cancer patients really have great opportunities. There are a number of tablets or targeted therapies that they can have as options, and that can really help us push off chemotherapy for longer and longer. There are also new targeted therapies for EGFR being developed all the time. It seems like every year there's something new. It's so fantastic. And so our hope is that people can go from pill to pill to pill and really avoid chemotherapy for as long as possible. Is immunotherapy an option for EGFR patients? So immunotherapy has really been a challenge for us. So it appears that people with EGFR positive lung cancer really have very good immune systems. And and the reason why people have EGFR positive lung cancer is really not related to the immune system, or at least not that we've discovered so far. So immune therapy, sadly, because it's a really great advance, plays much more of a role in people with a long history of smoking. Um, Having said that, you know, we're always doing research. It's always important to ask your doctor and have that conversation. But I will say that usually immune therapy is is it an option that I push off to later because there are so many other treatments that actually work so much better. So it's sort of good news, bad news. Um, you know, immunotherapy is not quite where we need it to be. There is hope for the future, but the great news is there are many better things out there for people with EGFR positive lung cancer. Fantastic. Thank you so much for, for being with us with Hope With Answers.